Bhagwan himself come to the rescue of his devotee in every situation. Yeah. Because a devotee have full trust that whatever wherever I am, he is with me. In every situation, he is looking after me. He takes care of me. You know, it's not about the future. Now he's taking care of me. He's not just a dream which I had before. No, it is with me now. When we look at uh, in the Bhagavad, you know, Canto One, Chapter Eight, Verse Nine, you know, of uh, Bhagavatam. Uttara, you know, rush to Krishna, and he appeal to the Lord of Lord, you know, the Supreme Lord. He said. You are the only one that can help me. No one else can help me. You know, life, which is full of duality and death, is there for sure. You are the only one who can save what is inside my womb. You know? This is so beautiful. You know, you said, I don't mind dying, but protect my child. Protect Parikshat. You know? This is the last. You know? All the other Pandavas was killed. You know? All the children was killed. But he's the last one. Please protect him. This is the appeal from the heart from that mother. And Lord Krishna was so hasi, merciful and touched by that pledge, you know, of call from, from Uttara. You know. But that call was not a call of the future. It's a call of now itself. You know. I'm coming to you, you know, because you are dear to me. You know, it's not about the God to fulfill my, my, my problem later on. I'm coming to you with my problem. Please fulfill it, but I have a nice, wonderful life afterwards. No, it's not about that. It's about knowing that Uttara, no, but you are the only one who can help me. There's nobody else who can help me. And but you are the Lord of Lords, no? You're the supreme one. So if Uttara could say that, you know, in that in intense in the hour of that uh Hase, I say, in the hour of need, you know, to protect her, her child who was struck by Shishupal, uh, no, sorry, uh, Ashwatthama, you know. So what is that call where Bhagwan say, I will protect your child, you know, no matter what, I will. They give that assurance that I am with you, you'll fear nothing. That is the determination to move forward, you know. That God is with you, you should not fear anything. There's a beautiful story. We were talking about Niloba, no? the devotee of uh, Tukaram some days back. No? How Tukaram came and initiate him. There's a beautiful story in his life when he, sorry, his daughter Chandrabhaga was getting married. Firstly, they could not find a suitor for the for the daughter. Finally, they found one. So what were they? They were wor wondering. They were worried about how to give the dowry. But lucky, these people were very hasi, wise people. They said. We don't want any dowry. So that was one problem solved. But then there was another problem. They wanted the marriage to be done very fast. So he could not prepare anything. Then he said, Bhagwan, you are the only one. You know, Vittal, 
you are the only one who can save me you know so saying you know vithal transform himself you know and came as a servant called vithal but he came with groceries with big big bag of rice flour and everything you now and on the day of the wedding said listen these are your groceries don't worry i will look after everything so niloba was very happy you know and he said okay you look after so as he was uh, the wedding happening the wedding was grand you know the wedding in indian tradition is like that you know the whole village is invited the whole next village is invited the village to the village is invited the whole five village around is invited so all the village is invited so you see he was uh, he look at all the food and he was they were cooking very busy preparing everything and the problem is you know people will be coming from morning till evening so niloba could not understand how would i feed all these people he said bhagwan vithal you are the only one you know who can sort this out you know this is note one thing these people are very simple people apart loving the vithal they don't know anything else you know their mind is fully absorbed in bhagwat in the leela of bhagwan and in the mouth there's only vithal vithal they don't know anything else in joy vithal vithal in pain vithal vithal in any problem vithal vithal only vithal can solve their problem just like uttara said only you can solve my problem you are the only one who can save me there's nobody else everybody else is bound by duality every man everybody else is bound by limitation but you are the supreme lord you are the ultimate lord you know you are the only one who can save me like mirabai said you are the only one for me mere to gridhar gopal dusra na koi there's not a single one there's not nobody else about you giridhar ji that single point and minded devotion you know that what will free one from that anxiety of uh, of 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 being uh, hase free one from from uh, hase motivate one also into in, into life you know so niloba said vithal i leave everything to you people came from morning till evening thousands of people ate the food was never finishing so as the wedding everything went well and niloba wanted to he was saying i have to say thank you you know this uh, vital bhat have have uh, helped so much without his help who will never be able to hase to 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 hase serve all these people you know he have taken this responsibility and he have fulfilled it i want to say i want to say thank you to him and to say thank you to him i would like to give him a cloth you know a upper garment so he took the upper garment and was looking for vital but everywhere but vital but could not be seen but near the pot of water there were tulsi kanti and buka the black which the uh, vital devotee wear the black powder was there so he realized at that moment but it was none else than vital himself like that you see vital giridhari ji bhagwan in whatever form you know whatever devotion you have to him you know he will come in that aspect to you and he is that this, this determination itself you know he is that motivation itself 
but that is for those mind which is absorbed into devotion. But the mind which is not absorbed into devotion is always good to look at what you have achieved already. Also that in your spiritual life also, you see, when you look at your life, you see that very often you want to compare yourself. You know, there's always a comparison of things, you know. When will I achieve that? I don't have much time. Yes or no? Yeah? You all say that. No? But you look at your life from where you were and where you are standing now. Be grateful for that. And always say you can do better. You can do much more. This is an attitude of a devotee, actually. A devotee don't just sit here idly and say, no, I am satisfied, that's it, finish. No. A devotee always wants to move forward and to help others move forward also. This is an attitude of a devotee. 